All right, I took a moment to uh, reverse the car in the garage. So now I've got the finished side over there where it's kind of tight. And uh, this area that I'm going to start working on is in the open part, part of the garage where I have a little bit of leg room. <laughs> um, just kind of looking at it, you can see right here, um, this this is the edge. This this tunnel comes down. It's a big tubular thing, and it's kind of spot welded together with a bottom piece down here along this flange, and then the f the floor pan lays into that flange and over it, and it's it's spot welded to that. Over here, the the pan has a uh, completely routed out to the point where there's nothing even attached. To the flange of the tunnel and uh it looks pretty bad here too i'm going to zoom out a little bit but again this big piece here is in good shape so i'm going to keep it uh, that's a, the negative cable for the battery it's attached here so i've got to detach that um yeah it's pretty pretty rough but again, the floor pan up front, really not that bad of shape. It's a lot of surface rust. You can, I don't think it would be wise to save it, but you probably could if you really, really wanted to. Um, but that's what it's, we're looking at. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get out my angle grinder, my four and a half inch angle grinder, and I'm going to cut just to the inside of all these flanges that the pan is welded to. I'm going to use the uh, cutting wheel and cut all this metal away all the way down and around and cut it off right about right here because that's where that flange goes out to about there um cut all that stuff out of there and the pan drops away it's out of the way and then i'll take my uh air chisel where's my air chisel this guy that i've i've had this for god 30 plus years what is it a, yeah it's a mac it's from my back when i was a uh, professional auto mechanic <laughs> it just won't die but i'll probably end up sharpening it a little bit it's got a spot weld cutter tip on it i think i probably need to sharpen it a little bit but um use that to separate all the old metal uh, of the floor pan from the flanges that it's welded to so you get the rough you kind of get a rough cleaning cleaning out of that and then you grind it down with the flap wheel on the uh, angle grinder like this. And that does a pretty nice job of getting it ready for welding. So that's kind of the next step. So I'm going to use a face shield and uh, hearing protection as I do this because it's really loud and throws a lot of sparks. And it's just a good idea. But uh, here we go. I think some of the guys that do these videos don't really talk too much about the tools. This is a, a four and a half inch angle grinder. It's a pretty inexpensive one from Harbor Freight. And what we're using here are these cutting wheels. They look like this when you start, but uh, they wear away as they're an abrasive wheel that just kind of wears away. It's aluminum oxide. 
and it's very thin, like a saw blade. And as you use it, it gets smaller and smaller and less and less usable. So you have to, when you buy them, you buy them in a pack of five or 20 or whatever. And uh, they're pretty damn handy. Um, but I realize I've only got one of these left and I probably don't have enough to finish this project today. But uh, we'll, we'll see what we can do. So I got, uh, I got this all cut away over here and back in here. And it's a little tricky along the seat rails here. This is where the seat actually attaches to the pan. Um, it's pretty deep in here, so it's kind of hard to uh, get that wheel in there. And especially with a wheel that's almost dead, the sacrificial wheels. So that's probably all I'm going to do. I might get out and get some discs yet today. I'm going to go for a walk with my daughter. And maybe while we're out we'll do that. But that's pretty good progress for just a, I don't know, about an hour in the garage. I don't want to stay out here too long. My feet are getting cold. It's what, uh, yeah, it's kind of cold out here. 35, so we're um, after Christmas at this point, um, before New Year's. So I'm just taking a little time that I finally got off to uh, do some work. But it's coming along. It's coming along well.